What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Blastoise for Ranked Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Blastoise, you don't get to see this Pokemon too much, but we are using Shell Smash with this Pokemon to boost its stats, making it incredibly strong. Now, this Blastoise over here is Rocking Torrent as its ability with the Splash Plate as item to give the water damage a nice little boost. On top of that, we got the Water Terror with Water Spout, Water Pledge, Shell Smash for those stat boosts, and last but not least, we have Protect. Now, to make Blastoise even stronger, we got ourselves Pelipper over here. Pelipper is Rock and Drizzle to set the rain, giving water moves even more of a boost with Blastoids. Pelipper's got the Choice Scarf as item with Weather Ball, Hurricane, Helping Hand, and Tailwind. Our other four Pokemon on today's team features a bunch of meta Pokemon. You got Archludon to pair up with that Pelipper with Electro Shot. You got Sneasler to pair up with Indeedee. Nice little combo right there with the Psychic Seeds. Everybody knows Sneasler is super fast and super strong once it loses its item. And last but not least, we got Dragonite on today's team. And Dragonite is just a great physical attacker with Haze. And Haze is honestly a really solid move within this format. Whenever Pokemon boost their stats, you want to get rid of them, you just pop Haze and kind of just rain on their parade. No pun intended. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Now the code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop into match number one showcasing blastoise in regulation h first match coming at you guys and looks like we're going up against a charizard sun squad so funny we're using a blastoise rain squad and we're going up against a charizard sun squad here in match number one it's funny how things work out here but they got twerkle to set the sun we're definitely going to want to bring in pelper to win that weather war they also have ursaluna they got jump bluff they got indeedee and they got annihilate so they could go into like final gambit maybe like trick room kind of play that could be a little annoying that could definitely be a problem that could definitely be a problem. But I'm still going to go for Blastoise here alongside with Indeedee. I think we can maybe set up a Shell Smash, try to get after it that way, and then just bring Pelipper Arch Lunon out here. I'm I'm so down for it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But I wonder who they're going to lead here. Their only Trick Room user would be Indeedee. And in that case, how should I play that one? In that case, I would probably just hard swap my Indeedee for Pelipper. Maybe just try to drop a Water Spout. I think that would be our best play with the splash play. Just look to do as much damage as we can. Maybe even thrasilize water, depending on who they have out there. But they do go annihilate Bendita here. This is tough news. This is real tough news because they're going to go for final gambit here. And I can't swap for weather. I can't swap for weather. I'm going to have to just go for follow me. Maybe just water terror here and water spout. See how much damage that can do. But the psychic seeds, I just think we might be wasting a terror here. We just might be wasting a terror here. Do I even shell smash? So I'm thinking of just going water terror, water spout, but I can't swap into the rain. That's that's the problem right now. That's the problem. And the reason I say why that's the problem. We might just want to start wasting out turns because protect might be the call here. Block the final gambit. Let him pop trick room. And then just like psychic down. Yeah, I think that's our play. That's definitely our play call. That's definitely our play call. Because they're going to final gambit the Blastoids. We're going to protect the shot. He's going to go for final gambit. And then we're just going to psychic down this night. Like, we're just going to start wasting out trick room turns right here, right now. Yeah, because I don't think Water Spout's going to KO even with a even with a, a Water Terra. And wow, I could have just I could just swapped Pelipper. I could just swapped Pelipper. That really hurts. Wow, they went after Indeedy? I could have just swapped in the Pelipper and sacrificed the Pelipper. My whole thing with swapping was they would have went after Blastoids. That was my whole problem with it. That was my whole problem with it. So right now, we're pretty much forced to go into Arch Ludon. Um, wow, that sucks. That sucks. Cause I could have I could have swapped into Pelipper and pretty much just dumped on this game. And won it. I could have just won it. I'm going to go Water Terror, Water Spout. I think the ground moves potentially coming out here. Plus, they might even protect our Saluna. I'm going to swap into Pelipper. Swap right into Pelipper. So, probably they have Torkoal for late game. I'm going to swap Pelipper here. We're going to kind of just look to waste out some turns here. And let's see what they do. But, wow, man. I, I really could have just swapped into Pelipper there. Should have went with a simple, easy play. I think I looked too far into it. But, yeah, I'm really surprised they didn't go after Blastoid, sir. But, I mean, it worked out in their favor. So, they made the right call. Then I'm swapping into Pelipper, hoping the ground move is flying into the Arch Ludon slot. And we're going to Terrasilize Blastoise and just look to just do some damage here. Because there is a hot chance as well that they protect Ursaluna here. 
Don't have Terrasalize my Blast Blades. Let's get off as much damage as I can. Protect is going to come out here. Um, and Psychic is going to launch into this Blast Blades. How much damage is doing? Okay. I mean, Water Spell should still do respectable damage here. Might be okay with the DD still. Let's see how much damage this would have done. I'm not even at full HP. I don't know. I feel like at full HP it probably would have KO'd. So there's that. Um, I could swap Pelipper. I feel like I have to swap Pelipper here. I'm just protecting my South turn. So I'll protect. I'll swap into Arch Loot on here. They're gonna need rain. We're just trying to waste out some turns right now. Because if I can waste out these turns, I feel like we definitely have a hot shot to win this game. Just a couple more turns. They might swap into Torkoal here. But no, they're gonna end up Thrasalizing. I'll be surprised if they don't have Torkoal, right? But a swap out here. He is gonna go into straight Ghost Terror here. The nice little Ghost Terror for. What would that help him out with? I mean, get rid of his water weakness. And protect comes out from the, the turtle. Nice little protect from the turtle. The facade's gonna pop into this slot. Do not very effective damage, but still a lot of damage. I do get a great defense boost here. Um, and Seki's gonna double down here. Wow, they read the protect. Great call on their end, but we're able to soak that really well. The so stamina boost gonna put us up plus two. There is a chance that they go for a ground move here. Um, hmm. They could facade this slot. Um, I think I'm gonna need Pelper. My turn's left in Trick Room. There's two. There's two. So we're going to attack here. I'm going to go after you. At the same time, we're just going to go for a last shot. We're going to double down at our saloon here. There goes Facade. We die out of that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We're okay. How much damage can this Electro Shot do? That is the real question. How much damage can this Electro Shot do? They're going to go for Psychic here again. They're going to boost our defense yet again to plus three. This is still going to do a nice little chunk. Yeah, about 20. Slowly just bringing, bringing down my Arch Loot on. Slowly, but surely. I don't have Protect, which really is the problem. That's a huge problem, but again, we can still win this game. We can still win this game. If I, I would love to have Protect here. If we had Protect here, this would have been massive. Protect would have been massive here. Now they're just slowly chipping up. So Trick Room might have got the best of us here. Might have got the best of us. Let's see. So Pelper comes out here. We got one turn left in Trick Room. I do not have Protect, which is honestly just terrible. I have the Choice Scarf, which is, again, honestly just terrible. And I got a choice into a move. But I think Weather Ball has got to be replied. Depending on how many turns are left in Rain. This could be bad. Two turns left in Rain. I think I still want to do this. Honestly, Hurricane would be better. We're going to Hurricane you and go into probably just another Electro Shot. I mean, Ursula probably KOs me with a Headlong Rush. Follow me comes out here. Follow me. And Ursula pretty much gets a free KO. Headlong Rush, yep. Bop, see you later, Arch Ludon. So he takes out my Arch Ludon. Hurricane is going to launch with the Choice Scarf, and that's going to be game. They just got the best of us here. They really did it. Ever since that turn one, I made the wrong call. I should have went with the simple play. It's just not working well for us. But Hurricane going to not even bring in Didi down. The Trick Room is going to end. So, I, I mean, do I have a shot at this? I don't even think I'm close. I'm going to have to hope that they protect the like, Ursula and try to pop another Trick Room. That's really where I'm at. That's really where I'm at. I'm choosing the Hurricane right now. And then I'm just going for Follow Me regardless. So, Follow Me is going to come out here. They're going to pop a little facade action. It's going to be game set match. At least we're able to KO the Indeed though. Bye bye, Ndidi. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. I'm curious to see who their final Pokemon was, but we're not going to be able to see it because this facade is just dumping on us right now. Bye bye, Pelper. Yeah, facade's OP, man. It really is on Ursula. So, GG's to our opponent. We start off 0 1. Let's go look to bounce back in match number two. So, guys, we got dumped on by a Trick Room team in match number one. Now we're in match number two, and we're going up against another Trick Room. They got Final Gambit Annihilate. They also have Hisui and Zoroak. Furthermore, they got Furigarath. Ursaluna, Incineroar, and last but not least, they have Whimsicott. So I kind of want to go back into Blastoids here. I might even want to set some weather right off the Rupert. I might just go into Blastoids and Pelipper. That could be pretty good for us. 
But I could just go for like the follow me kind of play. That's not bad. That is definitely not bad. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to go Ndidi. We are going to go Blastoise. There is a hot chance that they lead like Zoroark here. I have to watch out for that. They could disguise Zoroark as like Annihilate. I wouldn't like that at all. But I still like this lead right here. I really do like this lead of these two. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Pelipper. And last but not least, we go Arch Ludon again. Or I could go Dragonite. I'm liking Arch Ludon. I am really liking Arch Ludon. With the Ghost Tower. Yeah, let's go Arch Ludon. So same squad, same order. Looking to bounce back here in match number two. Like I said, we made the wrong call early on in the first match. And if we were just stuck with our guts, probably just pop Terra. Swapped into Pelipper, went for the water spot. I think we would have been able to KO that in DD. It would have honestly been close because we only did about like half damage with half our HP. So again, yeah, it would have been really, really close. But I wish I would have at least did that play and took the chance instead of just dying out the final gambit and losing a big time turn. But Frigger F or Saluna come out here. There's there's a hot chance that they do go for uh There's a hot chance that they end up going for uh Or there's a hot chance that uh, one of them's Hisui and Zoruk. Which could be bad. Um, I'm thinking of just Terrasalize and Water and going for Water Spend. I could honestly go for a Shell Smash here. That wouldn't be a bad call, but I'm thinking I'm just going to do this and swap into Pelipper. Get that Rain Boosted. Let's do it. Let's do it. One of them could be Zoruk, which I don't like, because then they're just faster than us. Let's see how this one, let's, let's see how this one plays out here. I think one of them is Zoruk. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but... This water spout, if this is Ursaluna, would be able to KO Ursaluna. Um, Frigograph, I don't really know. Frigograph's a bit bulkier. But I like this with a splash plate. Do some nice damage here. I get out my Paloops. So Paloops out and about. Let's do it, Paloops. And out comes our Terra. I'm really curious to see if one of these guys are Zoroark. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like it is. I really hope not. Because I'm playing that it's not. But if anyone's going to be, it's going to be that Ursaluna, right? It's definitely going to be that Ursaluna. Let's see. Protect comes out from Frigograph. That's fine. This has got to be Zoroark if you're protecting Frigograph. This has got to be Zoroark. Unless you're just that fast. I mean, Zoroark learns Hyper Voice as well, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I guess we'll find out right now. I think that was Zoroark. Yeah, it was Zoroark. I was going to say, it wasn't super effective. Yeah, that's Zoroark. All right, so good damage all around. I mean, taking out that in one shot is big time. We got the Choice Scarf. I mean, we can double down into this into this Ferrigraph right now and try to get rid of it. And now they actually send out Ursula, who might honestly just protect. I think doubling down into Ferrigraph is 100% our play. This time with a Water Pledge because, honestly, what's going to do more damage? Hmm. I mean, Water Spout, we're only half HP, so it's probably like half, but it's double hitting. I think we just double down on Frigograph and look to get rid of it. Choice in the Weather Ball here. Let's go, because Frigograph just protected. It legit just protected. So, I think we're going to end up seeing a Terra type from Ursaluna. Am I correct? I am correct. So, he's looking to dodge some, some moves here. He's going to go into a normal Terra. Probably look to just Hyper Voice this down. But if I can get rid of Frigograph and just cancel out Trick Room, I feel as my two back end Pokemon could be really good here. And now comes Weather Ball. Weather ball launching, baby. How much damage are we doing here? That's a good chunk of damage. Can you do the... Mmm... Barry. Barry might have just screwed us over here. Barry might have just screwed us over. Unless Blastoise got it in him. Blastoise, you got it in you? Can you do the rest of this? Oh, yes, sir. Big time KO, Blastoise. Big time KO, Blastoise. So bye-bye, Frigograph. Hyper Voice probably dropping. Yep, I'm going to say bye-bye to both my Pokemon. Okay, so it turns into a 2v2 situation. They don't have Trick Room, which is... Really good for us. Really, really good for us. We have Archaludon. We have Indeedee. Archaludon's going to be tough here. I mean, I got Follow Me, which is great news. So I might just want to follow me and just start dealing some damage into this. Into this, what's called this Ursaluna. Because Ursaluna is the big threat. We don't have Terra anymore either. We do not have Terra. Annihilate. Oh, no. This is brutal. Who do I even go after here? They gotta go follow me. They could just blood moon me here. I gotta go follow me. As much as I want to just go for, like, Psychic here. It's 
could be Final Gambit as well. This could get real ugly real quick. This could get real ugly real quick. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see. This could get real ugly. We're going for Electro Shot in that thing. We're going to go for Follow Me. Try to set up at least a special attack boost. And hopefully one of them protects or something. Nope. Electro Shot's going to fly. We do outspeed, so this isn't Final Gambit here. This is not Final Gambit. The problem here is I think they're going for Blood Moon and... And, like, Close Combat or Drain Punch. We do half damage, which is beautiful. Drain Punch is going to launch here. They're able to soak. But the problem here is now they get back enough HP to soak up in another Electro Shot. Blood Moon launches. Alright. I feel you. So from here, you can't use a back-to-back -back Blood Moon, which is good news. And DD's going to die out. Um, can we do outspeed this and I We might want to use a stab move rather than electric move right now. Hmm. Because Dragon Pulse is going to do more than Electro Shot. Electro Shot's base 130 right now. This move has a stab boost, so it gets that nice little 42.5 multiplier. Which actually doesn't raise it higher. Actually, Electro Shot's still going to do more damage. It's plus one, though. Um, we got to go for him. We got to go for Annihilate. If not, this thing can just kind of just stand on the field for a little bit. I'm going to go after him. I'm scared of the Earth Power, though. Terrified of the Earth Power. So we'll go for another Electro Shot. I don't think Annihilate's going to protect. Ursuline is terrifying me. It's scary, man. Doing me dirty. So we got off to a hot start with Blast Moons, but now we got these two Pokemon just chilling here. Up against my Arch Luan. So I end up Blaster Shotting again. Um, let's see how much damage we do. Let's see if we can KO. We do KO. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can we soak an Earth Power, please, and thank you? Can we soak an Earth Power? We know Earth Power is coming. There it is. Can we soak this? We do soak it. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. So right now, I'm stamina boost at plus one. Um, and Electro Shot's plus two right now. Electro Shot's obviously going to do... We already did the math. It does the most damage out of all these moves. Even though these two are stabbed. Electro Shot's still doing the most damage. Plus, I can go plus three. I'm, I'm, I'm straight up going for Electro Shot here. I got to go for Electro Shot. I got to go for Electro Shot. You better not have Vacuum Wave. I'd be so upset. There's no way you have Vacuum Wave. You have to have Protect. I know you have Hyper Voice. I know you have Blood Moon. I know you have Earth Power. Cool. You don't have Vacuum Wave. So Electro Shot flying out here. We're going plus three on Special Attack. For the victory, can Arch Ludon clutch up? We need a one shot here. We need a one shot. Come on, Arch Ludon. Let's go. Let's go. This Pokemon is so OP. It is just ridiculously strong. We made the right calls at the end there. Came down to the wire, and we ended up winning. Like I said, bounce back match here, match number two. We're sitting one and one. So, guys, we're sitting one and one, looking for a winning record. That last match went pretty well. I mean, Pelipper Blastoids got things started off hot, and then Arch Luan just coming in the back end, picking up the big time KOs, making the right plays. And end up getting us a win. But we're going up against another Archer Ludon like ourselves. One thing I do notice about the scene is no weather control. So honestly, I could just go Pelper Blast with here. But I think I'd rather set up Shell Smash. They don't really have a lot of double hitting moves as well. So I think Shell Smash is the call here. Follow me, Shell Smash. We'll get out Pelper. And then last but not least, we could go back into Archer Ludon. Archer Ludon honestly looks good, but I kind of like the Sneasler here as well. Sneasler are pretty good. You got Coast Combat, you got Dire Claw. You do a lot of damage to a lot of different Pokemon. So I am going to end up going Sneasler with those Psychic Seeds. Because chances are the terrain, mm, it could be on the field for the whole game. It could be. Depends. They got Rillaboom in. I could see them bringing Rillaboom. Especially with Blastoids. Get ugly real quick. It could definitely get ugly. So let's see what they got. Let's see what they want to do here. Hopefully if they lead Rillaboom, their terrain comes out first. It's usually pretty close. But usually Indeed he wins a lot of those. They're going to end up leading... Arch Ludon and Sneasel. So are we popping their own Psychic Seeds? That could be bad news for us. That is something I would hate if we popped their own Psychic Seeds. Hopefully that thing's just like Sash or something. Okay, cool. No Psychic Seeds for them. So Shell Smash, definitely going to be our play. We are going to go for Follow Me. They can't fake out either, which is great. But let's set this up. Let's get this cooking. Let's get this cooking, Blastoise. Shell Smash for our final matchup. Yo, Sneasel's Claws are nasty, man. They're huge. Imagine getting bear clawed by that thing. A sneezer. Look at that. Look at those hands. Those are bigger claws than like bears and stuff. Like Ursaluna don't even have claws like that. Imagine that thing just scratching in the back, man. You'd be 
laying on the ground for a week. Like, ah, my back. <laughs> You'd be laying on the ground for a week. No doubt in my mind. But follow me pops out here. They end up protecting our slowdown, which is good for us because we're trying to set up Shell Smash. Now comes a nice, lovely Dire Claw, which is going to probably put me to sleep. Why? Why did I, why did I even say that? Why did I even say that? Why would I even say that? It's terrible. Why couldn't you paralyze me or something? All right, we're just gonna swap in DD. Oh my lord. We're so swapping in DD. That is just embarrassing. Put me to sleep like that. Like, dude, this, this that move is OP, man. It puts so many people to sleep for no reason. But yeah, I'm gonna go for Water Spout here. I know it's gonna be not very effective, but... And if you look at our stats... Come on, man. Plus 2-1 special attack with rain, with Terra Boosted. We're going all in. Let's just make sure everything's clicked. So, Water Terra, Water Spout. We're going to swap into Pelipper. We're going to get rolling. I think that you are probably Focus Ash, right, Sneezy? Sneezy's got to be Focus Ash. And, I mean, Archer Ludon, how much damage is this really going to do to this thing? Probably still a decent amount, right? I can still see it doing a decent amount. Plus two on Special Attack. You got the Splash Plate. You got the Rain. You got the Water Terra Boost it. I love it. I love it. I love all those damage boosts right there. Plus, it's Water Spout. The one of, if not the strongest water moves of all time. So, Water Spout launches. Sneezler's dead unless it's Sash. Hopefully, it's not Sash. It probably is Sash. It is Sash. And and are you sturdy? Is this what's going on here? Are you sturdy is there, or are we just double focus Sash in here? Yep, you're sturdy. All right. I see where we're staying. I see where we're staying. He's going to put me to sleep here, probably. Nope, an Electro Shot's going to fly. You got Power Herb. So he's just going to take out my Blast Waves. I'll take that all day, honestly. Honestly, I'll take that all day. That is some monstrous damage from Blast Waves. But it's kind of annoying that the Sturdy and the Focus Ash really bail him out of this match. I knew Sneasler was going to be Focus Ash, but it would have been great to have one more turn from our Blast Waves. So now Sneasler is just like the fastest Pokemon on planet Earth right now. Um, hmm. And... I could go into Sneasler. Yeah, actually, is my Sneasler faster? That would be beautiful. My Sneasler's faster. You're maxed out on speed, Sneasler. Hold up. We're going right into you. So we still have Ndidi, who's absolutely slumped. But my Sneasler might be able to outspeed. Unless our Sneasler's maxed out, then it comes into a speed tie. Then speed tie comes into effect. So who could their final Pokemon be? Could be Rillaboom. Could definitely be Rillaboom. Um, the one choice in a hurricane or weather ball. I think I'd rather choice in a weather ball, because I do have Sneasel here with Dire Claw who can deal with Rolden. But I think Weather Ball is probably just gonna reply. So I'm gonna go for a Dire Claw into this slot, just in case he wants to swap, you never know. And from here, we are just gonna go into Weather Ball into this slot. I'm with this. Go ahead, my Sneasel go first. Throw a Dire Claw. Throw a Dire Claw. Really would like that. Really would love that. The big time damage from our water spout friend. We got some very fast Pokemon. Choice Scarf and Unburden popped. He's gonna end up protecting the Arch Ludon, which is totally fine. Caesar, I need you to outspeed him. First and foremost. You do. Awesome. Huge. That is massive. That is massive. So bye bye to the Sneasler. Our Sneasler's cooking in speed right now. And we're choosing the weather ball. We are simply choosing the weather ball right now. So I could see them going into Rillaboom. Um we still, again, have Indeedy, but. It's slumped. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not relying on a DD right now. It hasn't even been asleep for one turn. Out comes the Rillaboom. I think we double down into this Pokemon. I don't know. You're plus one, man. Honestly, I might just go Weather Ball into the Rillaboom. I honestly might just go Weather Ball into the Rillaboom and read that it's going to Thrasilize. And then just Dire Claw uh, or Third Chop this slot. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Weather Ball this Rillaboom. I, I, it has got to Thrasilize. There's no way it's sitting on the field staring at Sneasler and it's not going to Thrasilize. There's just no shot. There's no shot. So I'm going to predict a Terra. Hopefully a Fire Terra. to the Water. But I mean, we have to still target down this Arch Luna. I can't double down into Rillaboom right now. Arch Luna is just a huge threat being plus one on Special Attack. So I'm going to go for a Weather Ball. We're going to hope that Fire Terra is a thing right now. And we'll see how they want to play this one. We'll see. Wow, nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. So you might just wood hammer me down. You might just wood hammer me down. This is get ugly. Weather ball, how much damage are you doing? 
Wow, I would I would have switched shots there. Maybe I should just switch shots regardless. You go after Pelipper. Hold up, you leave my sneeze on the field, which is pretty massive. Yeah, I should have just switched. I should have just direct call that slot. And then attack this Archlidon with Weather Ball. Still some nice damage on the board. I mean, DD's gonna come out here again, slumped. Um, hmm. How do I play this one? Who's your final Pokemon? Who you got? Gonna be King Gambo. Oh man, King Gambit's scary. Close combat does some damage to that. I could close combat that. Um, I do take back terrain, which is huge. That's maybe what I should have done. I maybe should just swap Pelipper and reset. But from here, I think close combat's gonna be replied just to try to look to dump on that. And maybe try to wake up here and throw a psychic in this slot. Let's see. Let's see what you got. I swear, if King Gambit protects, I have an odd feeling it's protected. I maybe should have waited a turn. 2v2 situation. They still have terror. We don't. We sent ours already. And out comes our terror. This has got to be Robin. Please be Robin. Please be Robin. It's King Gambit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's King Gambit. Wow, man. This rule boom just playing mind games with me. I've been thinking it was, it's been terrestrialized this whole time. Close combat's gonna fly here, do about negative 10 damage. And that's pretty much gonna be the game. The Blast is actually doing well today. Just we end up going one and two. High horsepower launch, that's gonna KO now. Or minus one on defense. And yeah, it's and uh, indeed he's guaranteed to be asleep this turn. Even though I think King Gambit outspeeds. It does not, but we're asleep. He's gonna go for a KO attack. Cleave. Thanks for playing. Actually, a Terror Blast instead. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Should've just went with the simple plays. I feel like we lost two games on not going for simple plays. And it goes to show, like, simple plays in Pokemon actually win you guys a lot more games than it loses you. So, GG to our opponent. We go one and two. Honestly, I thought we played really well with Blastoid today. Even though the record doesn't show, we went one and two. Blastoid still did a ridiculous amount of damage. We set up some shell smashes, got those special attack boosts, dropped some water spouts, dropped some water pledge, and all around, this thing was just ridiculously strong. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.